Hello everyone, uh, how's it going? And uh, welcome to another one of my videos where I'm giving you an update on my collection. Uh, so today's countries are Estonia and Finland. So like some of the, pre the previous one, I'm going to give kind of like a rough ranking of the commemorative coins from each country. So you get to figure, get to see which one I like the least and which is my favorite from each country. So uh, yeah, I think there's going to be, it's going to be difficult today anyway. <laughs> Right, so uh, I guess without much further ado, let's take a look at some nice commemorative coins. Okay, so first up we have Estonia, and we're going straight into commemorative coins. Estonia has released 15 commemorative 2 euro coins in total, and I have 13 of them. So first of all, we'll get started into the common issued coins I have from there. Uh, so first up is the Estonian 10 years of euro coins and banknotes from 2012. And then the more recent one, uh, the 35th, 35th anniversary of the Erasmus program. So one of the Estonian coins I am missing is the EU flag. So um, hopefully I'll get that at some point. Right now into the good stuff, the unique coins from Estonia. Uh, now do bear with me if I can't quite 100% remember what the, to the topic of the coin is, the team. And um, yeah, I did have a tough time ranking these. So <laughs> they're all lovely in their own way, but I had to sort them somehow. Okay, so well, first up is uh, this coin from 2019. And I think it's to mark the centenary of the first university to teach Estonian or to have Estonian as its language or something like that and uh, I'm, I'm sure it'll have the info down below okay uh, next up we have uh, this one for 2020 I think it's something to do with the Tartu Tar Tartu peace treaty I think <laughs> again info down below Ugh, it's very very hard to keep track of all the commemorative coins of what they've of what they represent. Okay, next is uh, a more recent coin from Estonia, the 150th anniversary of the Estonian Literary Society. Then we have this coin from 2017. Uh, this is to mark the, the pathway to independence, pathway to freedom. And uh, this coin is special to me because it is the only coin, Estonian coin, I have found, Estonian commemorative coin, I have found myself. And this was back in, before the days of my YouTube channel, before I started filming coin hunts. I got a hundred euro out of my bank, uh, two bags of coins, and one of the coins in it was this. So, <laughs> and I've never found an Estonian commemorative coin since. Uh, anyway, by the time I'm recording this anyway. So, uh, it is a special coin to me, but I'm kind of going more design-wise on the coin. So uh, yeah, it's a, it is a lovely design, I have to say. Uh, but I have I have to rank it somewhere. Right next up, we have uh, this one from 2018. I think this is the centenary of uh, independence in Estonia as a, a country, and I do like the way that they. They stylized the 100, like, in terms of uh, birds, I, I want to say they're maybe doves, maybe? It's pretty cool. Then the next coin is kind of related to that topic. Uh, this is for the, the independence of the three Baltic nations of Estonia, Latvia and Lithuania. So all, all three of those countries released this coin with the same design. Unfortunately, with this one, my, my example's got a little bit of toning happened uh, in the old, it got that from the old container I had it in, a little flip, so yeah, unfortunate. <laughs> right, so we're into the top five of my Estonian coins. So number five is another recent coin, uh, it is the Slava Ukraini coin from 2022. Number five, I like the design, and it's a good, a good cause as well, um, for Ukraine. So yeah, number five, fifth spot. Uh, I'll, I'll <laughs> it's so big, I'll have to just leave it there. Uh, 
Okay, number four goes to this one for the 150th anniversary of the Estonian Song um, Festival, I think it is, from 2019. Uh, I know that it looks a little bit cartoonish, but I kind of like that. And um, it's a great, like, Estonian cultural event as well. It's nice that it's been commemorated on a coin. I hope I got the details of that right. <laughs> okay, so bronze medal, the third spot. Uh, third favourite Estonian coin is this one for the 200th anniversary of the discovery of Antarctica. Because I think one of the pe people... One of the men who discovered it was born in what is now Estonia. So it's cool, like uh, a great anniversary, a great topic, and it's cool, cool having a nice big ship on a two euro commemorative coin. Okay, so second and first place. I had a very tough time deciding what to rank where, but uh, I finally settled on this. So my silver spot goes to the 2021 commemorative coin dedicated to the national animal of Estonia, the, the wolf. So it's a lovely, lovely scene, but um, did it got second because wolves aren't unique to Estonia. So that's the only downside, uh, downway points I gave to this coin, why it's in second position. But no, I do, I do like animals on coins. So that means my number one spot, my favourite coin from Estonia, is this one. And you might be questioning why. Uh, it mightn't be the one that you were thinking. It's another 2021 20, coin, and this one is dedicated to finno uric uh, people. So it is something to do with unique to Estonia, in a way. <laughs> but no, it's uh, the artwork's uh, based on a cave painting. Yeah, me and my history in archaeology. So that kind of appeals to me. So that's why personally, this is my favorite coin from Estonia. But it did have very, very tough competition from the wolf coin, I will say. But yeah, uh, there are all my Estonian coins. So uh, as I said, I'm only missing two. Uh, maybe I might get them uh, in the next year or so. And of course, we'll have some lovely coins from Estonia this year in 2023. So um, yeah, uh, that is all my Estonian coins. Okay, so next up we're into a biggie, uh, Finland. Uh, <laughs> there's a ton of Finnish commemorative coins. But uh, yeah, before we get into them, uh, just a little bit of the random stuff. So um, I have a couple of uh, one cent and two cent coins from Finland that I kept uh, separate. Uh, just because the Finnish uh, cent coins, the lower cent coins are very hard to find. So uh, yeah. I just have them with my Finnish coins. <laughs> right, uh, I also have a 2018 two euro coin in the coin book and there's a 2002 regular Finnish coin there somewhere as well. But uh, yeah, uh, we'll get onto the more interesting stuff anyway. So we'll get into the commemorative coins. Now Finland has released uh, 33 commemorative coins in total. And I have managed to get all 33 of them, so <laughs> Finland is complete for me. But uh, first of all, we'll start with the common issue coins uh, released by Finland. So, first up we have the 50th anniversary of the Treaty of Rome. We then have the 10 years of the EMU. Uh, 10 years of euro coins and banknotes. The 30th anniversary of the EU flag. And finally, uh, the 35th anniversary of the Erasmus program. So yeah, all five of the common issue coins from Finland I have. But uh, now onto the good stuff from Finland, the unique Finnish commemorative coins. Uh, now I've attempted a ranking. Uh, I think I'm happy enough with my top 10, and I think I know which are my least favorite coins. It's just everything in between could move anyway. And uh, do forgive me if I mix up the teams of the coins, the topic, or if I can't quite remember. There is an awful lot to remember. But um, anyway, let's get started. So uh, <laughs> my least favorite Finnish coin, I think, is uh, this one. Um, the 100... 
Oh, I don't. I not even. I can't even remember uh, the topic. 150th. Sorry, 150th anniversary of the birth of Helene Schefferbeck. Uh, now I do have a story with this. I did. This was a new find for me in a coin hunt, but I didn't know where on earth it was from, and I was like stuck for like I don't know what felt like five minutes trying to figure out where this is from. <laughs> but uh, no, I just I just don't like the design of it compared to other Finnish coins. So uh, sorry, Helene. Uh, you're at the bottom. <laughs> right, next up we have um, one of the coins from 2022, uh, the centenary of the Finnish National Ballet. And I'm ranking it kind of low because I am kind of I just don't know why on earth they put 2022 so huge, why it takes up so much of the design. But uh, yeah, <laughs> we'll move on. Uh, sorry to say the next one up isn't the other 2022 unique coin from Finland it is for climate research. Um, I don't know why they just decided to show one kind of sad looking branch of a tree. Uh, they could have gone any other direction. <laughs> but no, uh, yeah, yeah, that's this is near my bottom. Okay, so next up is one from 2020. Now I think this is for the University of Tartu. Tartu. I, I, I mix it up with Turk, Turku in Estonia, but I think Tartu. Again, I, it's just lines. No, it's not the most visually appealing. <laughs> but uh, I, I will say Finnish designs are lovely overall. I'm, I'm just trying to rank them somehow, uh, like I'm doing with other countries. <laughs> okay, next up we have this one for Vino Lina uh, from 2020. Um... I think he was a writer, uh, but um, it's just the floating head I'm not too sure about and the weird lines coming out. Um, I think it's something to do with weaving or tapestries or something. Um, sorry, I'm sorry to the Finns watching. Okay, then we go to 2021, uh, just for the coin for journalism and the freedom of press. Um, I, I don't I don't dislike the coin. It's just I have to put it somewhere. <laughs> but no, no, it, it is a nice design. It it's interesting anyway. Okay, next is in another twenty twenty one coin. I think it's a bit of a team. The more recent coins I just don't seem to like as much. Uh, but this is for the centenary of self government in the Alund region. This, that Swedish uh, speaking islands off the southwest coast of Finland. Yeah, so that's why you have the kind of like uh, boats in the maritime team for the islands. I don't dislike it, uh, it just doesn't rank highly with me. <laughs> okay, next up is this coin. Uh, the one for the fifth enlargement of the EU from 2004, Finland's first commemorative coin. Now, uh, you might be wondering why I put this kind of low. Uh, it's just, I'm just going on design. It's not the best looking coin, but I know it's a very sought after coin. And um, one of the more sought after Euro commemorative coins out there. But yeah, no, I just, I'm not a big fan of the design. Right, so uh, let's see. Next up, uh, we have this one the 150th anniversary of the Diet, uh, the Parliament, 1863 to 2013. I do like the way that they stylize the numbers. Unlike that Finnish ballet coin, <laughs> which just says 2022 very plainly. Well, I like nice design, I like it. Okay, uh, next is the coin for George Henrik Wright, the philosopher uh, from 2016. And like the, the oak branches, oak leaves there. Pretty cool. Uh, then we have uh, the Koli National Park from 2018. Uh, next is the Finnish sauna culture. Uh, now I put these kind of two together because they're very look way way too similar to each other. So I'm, I'm it's a bit confusing between the two, but uh, no, the Finns do love their saunas. They're mad. <laughs> Right, uh, let's see, 2015, we have this one for Jean Sibulus. Lovely starry, starry scene through the treetops. 
again i will i to like say again uh, i do really like the finished designs overall i think they're some of the best designed commemorative coins so uh, some of these uh more recent coins i'm going through uh they could all interchange with each other i just couldn't rank them it's pretty hard <laughs> so here we have one for mari tapio vara tapio uh, vapa vara yeah sorry sorry the fins i'm mixing up uh yeah from 2014 it just it just looks interesting it just looks different <laughs> okay uh we have this one for the artist axeli galen and kalela from 2015 And uh, then we have one for Ainolina from 2016. That is just a, a mad looking design, like flames or something, <laughs> heads on fire. Again, I will say the fins are ballsy in their designs for going really out there. Okay, uh, we have one here for Tovi Jansen uh, from 2014. Uh, I think she created the Moomins or something like that, I think. Unfortunately, my version, the, it's got little bit marks marks on the on the ring. Well, it's a, an interesting style of portrait on the coin. I'll give it that. Okay, next up is one for Silimpa from 2013. I think he won a Nobel Prize for literature. Oh, I will say for the Finns, I do love that they celebrate their artists, their writers, their painters, you know, poets, musicians, that kind of stuff. Right, so I think we're into the top 10, so I'm a little bit more definite with the rankings here. So to start off here, we have this one. I think this is the 200th anniversary of um, minting their own currency, their own, like an own Finnish currency, I think, or something like that. I will have the info down below, of course, if I'm wrong. But not not like it. Uh, I like the the way to have the lion and the coat of arms there, numbers representing the different denominations. Pretty cool coin. Okay. Uh, next one is one from two thousand and nine. This is for the two hundred anniversary of Finnish autonomy. Again with a, a pyramid triangle. Don't know why exactly, but uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> is what it is. I do like it. Okay, uh, next we have the centenary of uh, universal suffrage in Finland. Um, going by the date, Finland was one of the early countries to introduce that. So, you know, it's, no, it's a pretty interesting one. And it, it, this is one that I have found in the coin hunt as well. Makes it a little bit extra special. Okay, here we have one for the 90th anniversary of Finnish independence. So cool team and just a, a really cool looking design i think I've, got, I've, I've been saying that an awful lot about the finished coins but it, it is true right here we go and another one uh now i think i uh, know i think this is the 200th anniversary of the national bank of finland okay so uh yeah from 2011. i want to guess the hooper swan uh, national bird of finland Right, so we're into the top five now. So I'm starting out with the Amoeba coin. <laughs> no, of course not, it's not the Amoeba. Uh, this is the centenary of the Finnish constitution, I think, where it set up the three branches of the of the legal system, the cost, like the constitution, system, uh, like the parliament, just the system, that kind of stuff, uh, represented by three blobs. <laughs> or do you want to call it amoeba, bacteria, ice cream, whatever you want, but definitely the most ballsy out there designed by Finland, I think. So yeah, that's why it's in my top five. Okay, uh, then we have one from 2005. Uh, this is to mark, uh, I think it's both to mark the anniversary of the UN itself and Finnish membership of the UN. But I just, I love the detail in it, and it's just nice with the jigsaw and the dove, you know, it gives a little bit of complexity to the design. So yeah, that is my number four spot. Okay, 
bronze position goes to the centenary of Finnish independence from 2017. Now I like this design, it's, it, it's a really creative way of just showing the outline of the country. Just with little baubles. Uh, I know there's some countries uh, that have a regular design is their country, just a map of their country, and they've done it plainly. If they did it like this, it would be pretty cool. And you can see how much I like it because I do actually own three of the coins. Two of them I have found in coin hunts, and then the one in the flip I have bought. So yeah, <laughs> I really like this coin. I have it three times. Oh, sorry, I just I meant to realise, I meant to be keeping my top five in view, <laughs> like I did, I've done with other countries. Sorry, there they are. Okay, if I, if I could get all to fit in. Right, uh, we'll move on to uh, second place, silver. And that goes to this coin from 2008, the 60th anniversary of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Um, I don't know, just... There was loads of different countries that had this uh, same team, and they were a little bit more blatant about what it, what the coin was. Uh, but Finland just decided to say human rights and a heart and a person in the middle, and that's it. It's just a little bit more abstract. And yeah, for human rights, all we need is just love for each other. <laughs> Sorry, I got a little bit sappy. But um, no, it's it's just beautiful in in its simplicity for the for the topic, and that's yeah, that's what I like about it. Okay, so time to find out what my favorite coin from Finland is, and it goes to this one, Finnish nature from twenty seventeen. Just simple celebrating the nature of the beautiful Finnish country side. <laughs> Um, yeah, I, I don't know. It's a, it, it just it adds a lot of stuff to me. It's a like a low minted coin. It's a coin that I found myself in coin hunts, and it's it's a, just a beautiful design and a team. Simple in its beautiful in its simplicity, I should say. And uh, just like the Finnish independence coin, I like it that much that I have two of them. And these two are actually two I found in coin hunts. So, I think it really does deserve, like, the number one spot for me. Um, but, like, I, as I kept saying, it's been very hard to rank the Finnish coins. They're all beautiful in, like, their own way. So, yeah, that, so that's it. That's all 33 of the Finnish coins I have, which is all of them, pretty much. You can only have 33 commander coins at the minute from Finland. Um, but, yeah, uh, that is it. That is my Finnish coin collection. Okay, so that they are all the Estonian and Finnish coins in my Eurocoin collection. Uh, I hope you agree with my rankings. Uh, uh, <laughs> it was a little bit tough, but uh, sure, let me know which is your least favorite coin from each country or what is your favorite coin from each country. That'd be great, interesting to see. Uh, but yeah, uh, keep an eye out for more of these kind of videos. Um, there's plenty more countries I have to show you my coins from. And uh, yeah, as, as always, keep an eye out for my coin hunts. So uh, again, thank you for watching.